Hi guys, so I just wanted to come really quick and do this little shoe haulage. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that I'm a shoe freak. I love shoes. My top place to shop would be Nine West, only because I've been shopping at Nine West forever. But anyway, I'm going to make this quick and to the point. I want to first say, don't judge me, because a lot of my shoes are... I'm the type of person, if I see something that I like, I'm going to try to get it in every color. I'm a I'm an eight and a half, but I get a nine because there's nothing cute about your toes hanging over your shoes or your heel hanging off the back. So I just wanted to come um, to you guys really quick with a quick little shoe haul. Um, if you guys follow me on Twitter or Facebook, you may have seen some of the shoes before. Um, meaning I've tweeted or Facebook the pictures when they were purchased. Um, so yeah, some of these I've been wearing and some of them are still brand new that haven't even touched cement yet so guys i hope you like it and i will get started so my holy grails like these are my favorites a lot of you guys know that i work in a surgical setting so i'm in scrubs and 5411s google it if you don't know what i'm talking about 5411s well white 5411s and maybe blue scrubs monday through friday so on the weekends, when it's time for me to chill out and do my family thing, I'm reaching for the first most comfortable pair of sandals or whatever the weather is. So these little ones, I call these Jesus sandals. And the thing that I like about these most is the actual interior. It's like suede interior in the inside. And they zip up. They are like so comfortable. And I like the little wedge that it has, the sewn in wedge. So yes, I like these. And I also got these in gray as well. Same shoe in gray. I know. Sad. These next ones, oh my goodness. I'm so mad. Well, I was so mad when I found out about this other girl I saw about like two weeks ago in um, Subway. And when I noticed the shoes, they were in a different color. They were the same style shoe, but they were in a different color. And I, you know, I'm not ashamed to give compliments. So I was like, oh, your shoes are cute. I was like, I have those same shoes from Nine West, right? And she was like, yeah, they Nine West, but I got them from Burlington. Mind you, I paid $89 for these shoes. And really, which is not a problem because Nine West shoes are good quality shoes. I believe in um, you get what you pay for. So that's why I find myself, because I am a plus size girl, I invest a lot in my clothing. I invest a lot in my bags, especially. And I invest a lot in my shoes. Um, I might try to go like, cheap every now and then with clothing um like for a top or something i'm just gonna wear one time but for the most part i'm usually a gap girl or ashley stewart girl every now and then i'll do old navy um but old navy is pretty much a spinoff from the gap in my opinion but i definitely invest lots of money in my bags and in my shoes um that's why i always try to get my baby to get my shoes because some of the prices are ridiculous but anyway so long story short um at the Nile West store, these next pair of shoes that I'm showing you were $80. And when I saw the girl in um, Subway, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, your shoes are cute. They're from Nile West, right? She was like, yeah. I was like, I got those same shoes. She was like, well, I got mine from Burlington for $25. I was like, are you serious? She was like, yes. She was like, you need to check out Burlington. And I never thought to look at Burlington shoes. Um, I guess because I've been sleeping on Burlington. Now I know. But anyway... These little ones right here are really cute. And these are the ones that she had on as well. Um, hers were different because where the yellow is, she had, they were, hers were like pink. And where the um, turquoise is, it was like yellow. It was different. And then it has the animal print. And it's just a flat heel shoe. So, yeah, these are really cute with some wide leg jeans on and a t-shirt. Yeah. Next up, um, these are my favorite stilettos or high heels, you could say. Um, I love these because of the detailing of the shoe. They're like, um, they're platforms. And I love the shoe because of the octagon heel. Also, if you guys are familiar with Coach um, wallets and stuff, this tag reminds me of the Coach wallet tags. And it just zipped down the back. And it has like these little elastic bands on the side so like if your feet are kind of wide but i don't have that problem in the crisscross detailing so these are really really cute so cute <laughs> that i got them in black as well 
Now I've worn these already. And I wore these with some skinny, some dark blue skinnies with the trimming this color. They had like the stitching was this color and a white peasant shirt. I haven't wore these yet. These are in black and they have the black heel. Same shoe. Um, love these. Now, if you guys follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you've seen these. I got these for Mother's Day. I have yet to wear these. And mind you, I usually do between three and five inch heels, but I try to stay between three and four. But if it's five inches, it has to be something like, oh my God, I got to have those. Yes, your plus size sister wear go up to five inches. It is nothing to me. So anyway, these right here are three inches as well. And the um, paper in them are not doing them any justice, but these are so freaking sexy on the foot. Like the detailing and everything. And mind you, all of Nile West shoes are 100% genuine leather. Lastly, I mean not lastly, but next to last, I got these cute little wedges from there. And these are about a four inch, but they have the platform, so. And they're like tan crocodile, I mean tan snakeskin. So yeah, these are really cute. I figured I would rock these with some navy blue wide leg jeans. And um, a t-shirt this color with some wooden accessories. And lastly, these are my favorites. I just picked these up last Tuesday. These are so cute. So... The box says that they're gray, but these are literally olive green. And they are like little, I can't describe them, but I think they are so hot. They had these in black as well, but black was looking boring. So I figured I would go with the olive green color. And they're just some regular flats um, with a little wedge on them. And I love these. I really do love these. I don't know what I would wear these with. I'll probably wear these with some skinnies or some... um. I don't know, some capris that fold up, not the kind with the drawstring, and a t-shirt. I'm not sure. Just some, like, kick arounds in. They real cute. So, yes, guys, that is my Now West haul. Mind you, these shoes have been collectively purchased over the last 30 days or so, other than the gray ones from Mother's Day that I have yet to wear. But, yeah, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I do apologize for coming to you bare face. I just got off work, washed my face, because that's the first thing I do when I get in the house. And, um, yeah, that's it. If you're wondering what I'm wearing, I'm just wearing two in, which is what I'm always wearing when I come to you guys bare face. Um, and that's it. I hope you guys found the how to take care of my braids video for those of you that requested it helpful. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. If you have any concerns or comments, leave them below. Thank you so much for all of your support to all of my old subscribers. Thank you Gators for being so supportive and so faithful. So all of my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. I hope that you've enjoyed it thus far. Um, if you have any questions that I haven't answered, 10 times out of 10, the video is already up. So you may want to go way back to those videos to find what you're looking for. Um, stay tuned. Um, get ready to do another surf baby look using Swell Baby. I think that's my mark. Using... Swell baby, the gray one. Okay, so yeah, guys. Also, if you guys wanted to know what strawberry margarita was from OPI, it's just this color here. And this is the gold crackle. So that's what I'm rocking on my pointer finger. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I figured that because I get a lot of requests for nail polishes, I would always give you guys um, alternatives. I'm going to start doing alternative videos for you guys that don't, that are really not into the OPI thing. Um, so what I decided to do was today I'm going to start off with OPI. I'm going to go from highest in price to lowest in price and good alternatives for them. Um... If you guys wanted to know about, also, this fingernail polish crap is, like, overwhelming. It, it's not overwhelming, it's just too much. Like, it's getting to the point now where I'm literally purchasing the same freaking nail polish colors, and it's just, it's just too much. It's too much. Like, honestly, nobody needs this many fingernail, like, for real. 
I don't know, like, I go through these phases where I need to have all these colors, and then when I get them, I get them just to say I got them. Like, who does that? This is ridiculous. It's too much. So anyway, alternatives. The first one that I'm going to give you alternative for is going, we're going to stay in the coral since coral is the big thing now. So I know you guys saw this in my haul for OPI. This one is called Hot and Spicy. And the good alternative for Hot and Spicy would be Life Preserver by China Glaze. You guys have seen this in my, in my haul. Or, as always, the Simple Colors Collection, you can try to get Hazard. So, the Hot and Spicy by OPI, China Glaze, Light Preserver, or Hazard. That's how bad it's gotten. Like, I'm repeating the same freaking colors with different companies. Light Preserver may be a little bit darker, but it's a good alternative. Or you can manipulate it and just put white on first and put the Light Preserver on top. You'll have your Hot and Spicy and you'll have your um, Hazard. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned for more of these little alternative polishes for those of you that really don't want to go out and spend eight dollars on a freaking bottle of polish okay so i will see you gators in the next video thank you so much guys peace